All right. Well, are we done or well? What's the live update? Where are we at with this Ring of Honor? Crying show? over spilled milk. Is the, the is the Ring of the Ring of Honor show is apparently going on and has just started. They had an in uh, a, a pre show, a pre show zero hour. Jeff Cobb versus Mascara Dorada. Oh, I didn't realize Jeff Cobb was working for Ring of Honor. Nobody else did either. Or at least on this um, show. Huh. You got Daddy Mac Mac Daddy and Cool Hand Luke from the Jericho Appreciators against the, uh, I'm not, I'm not making this up. The team apparently is called the Shinobi Shadow Squad, comprised of Cheeseburger and Eli Isom, which I believe is, he's a cousin to Gavin Newsom. What? Then... And Cheeseburger's a comedy wrestler, right? Well, he's a night. He used to be on the ring crew when I was there about 12 years ago, and, and he trained diligently with Delirious, and he's a great kid, but yeah, he's very painfully thin, and his name is Cheeseburger. So you got that going for you. Um, Willow Nightingale versus Trish Adora. And oh, wait, this is still the pre show. Guess who's on the pre show? On the goddamn Ring of Honor pay-per-view. Matt Taven and Mike Bennett, the Kingdom tag team against Top Flight, the Martin brothers. Oh, wow. Matt Taven and Mike, that's right. They signed them about, what, four or five, six weeks ago, and we've never seen them yet. And I told you they're going to get stuck in Ring of Honor. You said, no, they're AEW. They're not going to be Ring of Honor. Look what happened. Well, there, there you go. Okay. The pre-show. Not even the pay-per-view, the pre-show. Remember I just said experienced quality heel team that could have a match and put the acclaimed over and not further destroy what's left of FTR Matt Taven and Mike Bennett and because they're full-fledged heels they could have fucked up on their teamwork the acclaimed could have won everybody had been happy nobody would have been damaged but instead they're over here on the pre-show of a pay-per-view that nobody's going to buy on a Saturday afternoon at three o'clock in the middle of fucking nowhere so there's another, well, there's some more names that we can talk about when we talk about how we never get to see the good wrestlers, Taven and Bennett, that the, they presented that fucking show this past Wednesday night, and these two guys weren't even on it. Good God. All right. Well, that's the update I've got on the, uh, the doings in Dallas. You know what the problem is overall? And I'm not trying to, don't just turn this into an insult fest, which you will. Okay. But because AEW has been able to get really impressive pay-per-view buy numbers, make good money off some live gates and the pay-per-views, because people want to see, a, there's an audience for the kind of matches they're putting on, no matter what the TV is. And because of that, too many people ignored the fact that the TV is terrible, and it's been since the beginning, mostly, just nothing makes sense, things happen, then people are gone. People disappear off the TV. Random people show up. People show up and you're supposed to think they're a big deal. You've never seen or heard of them before. All of these things have been happening since the beginning. It's just now people are noticing them more and saying them about the AEW booking problems. And it extends to Ring of Honor because they had a pay-per-view here. Just assume they're part of AEW and AEW should be building up the pay-per-view. Even that's been just bungled in every conceivable way. Like, at what point are people going to realize, I know he got voted Booker of the Year a couple times, but the AEW TV booking has not been good wrestling TV. Well, again, Booker of the Year. You know, I've, I used to think, wow, I won that two or three times, whatever it was, and now it's like, Jesus Christ, you know, can't even be proud of that anymore because apparently anybody can do it. I know... The audience that Uncle Dave appeals to has changed over the years. It used to be the people who liked really good wrestling, and now it's the people who like really fucking silly modern wrestling. The wrestling must be silly and fun crowd. That's the audience he has left. That's the audience AEW has. The problem is, again, we've determined the size of that audience. It's... 750 to 900,000 people on Wednesday night, give or take, except when they have punk or a big fucking goddamn hotshot angle. And then it goes back. 
and the pay-per-views. Yes, they're doing better pay-per-view buys than anybody since WCW. There actually hadn't been anybody except TNA really doing pay-per-views since WCW. And TNA was, unfortunately, the victims of the prior administration or prior generation's worst booker in the world. Uh, and pay-per-view was the way to make money was completely not his interest at all. It was his crash TV. But now we're seeing that they've been buying these pay-per-views from the start, no matter who's on them, practically, no matter what fucking the booking is like, because they want to support the company. And we mentioned this, I said four years ago, the first all-in was the world's biggest ever crowdfunding wrestling event. The people willed it into success. And they've been trying to support them since then. And they do the same pay-per-view buy rate numbers, except Punk came around and brought an extra 50000 once or twice or whatever the fuck it was. But the audience is not expanding. It's contracting slightly on television. It's staying about the same, if not contracting a bit, on pay-per-view because they lost Punk and he was the the one touchstone of, wow, we remember when this shit was actually popular and he was a part of the big company. But uh, by now, the thought is we we should be seeing bigger numbers, some type of expansion of something. And now I think it's coming down to how much money do people have? How much money can they continue to spend to that dedicated audience of, as I said, a million that'll watch TV or a little less and 150,000 or a little less that'll buy the pay-per-views? How long can they go on not getting any more out of it than what they're getting? They're starting to dribble people off just by now. Like you said, well, we've lost some talent or we lost some interest or this stuff really doesn't make a lot of sense or just we've seen everything. There's nothing else they can fucking do to a human body. So that's what they've got to worry about. There's no interest in the personalities except for MJF and, and you know, the acclaimed. We'll see whether that lasts. Do, uh, will the booking let it last or will they cool off like everybody else that's gotten over because the fans got bored and decided to get somebody over? That cools off quick when it's not taken care of. Wardlow, everybody. Everybody. Where's Eddie, so, where's Eddie Kingston? Well, who, maybe he's in anger management again. But the, the point is, it, they're not only not doing a lot to give the people that have been with them from the start any more reason otherwise than we want this thing to go to stick with them. And they're not drawing anybody else in because it's just a fucking mess and nobody can keep track of what's going on. So, uh, again, just... If it's simple, chances are people will understand it. I know that Tony's mind, for whatever reason, works in all these weird, convoluted, detail-oriented ways, but you've lost a lot of people, Tony. It may make sense to you. But we can't figure it out. Nobody else can either. It don't make sense. So instead of booking for the thousands of invisible fans in your e-fed that give you good feedback, why don't you try getting somebody else to book for the ones that might watch your program if they had a shit clue what the fuck was going on? Here's a live report from Ring of Honor Final Battle. Right now in the ring, Athena... Having a very stiff match with Mercedes Martinez, the fans really behind Athena. Well, of course they are. And of course she is. And there you go. Ha! Well, we're not going to stick around to see the finish of that one, are we? No, I think enough. Enough. <laughs>